Well, my name is Peter Grossberg. I'm a general surgeon. I'm the last of the real general surgeons. And uh, I've been involved in teaching my entire career. And probably over the last 10 to 15 years, we've been, myself and a colleague, have been teaching office procedures. We believe that a lot of office procedures can be done by the local doctor rather than sending them to a specialist. And the importance of doing courses like this is to be actually taught how to do things properly. You can't be expected to know how to do it by osmosis because you've seen your boss do it or you've seen other doctors do it. You actually have to practically have hands-on experience. And we believe with the sort of courses that we're doing, we're getting patient, uh, doctors with very good hands-on experience. We've often had doctors say, I've never taken off a lesion, I've never so sutured a laceration because I'm just not confident in what I'm doing. After they do our course, nearly all of them say, I'm going to do this because I'm confident that I can do it. And all this is about practice and confidence. You have to be actually taught how to sew and to cut and to remove things. You don't just learn it by watching somebody else do it. Most of the course is very, very hands-on and we're doing a lot of suturing. We're doing different types of sutures. We're excising lesions. We are doing rotation flaps. We're doing ingrown toenails. So it's not someone standing in front of the lecture theatre. It's us walking around the room as we have um, pigs trotters, we have pigs uh, skin on, the, and we're learning to do it by hands-on. The most favourite stories always are that the patients come and they say, I can do this now. I'm confident that I can do this. and I've really enjoyed the course. Occasionally you'll have someone say, I've been suturing for ages, but I've never been shown how to do it. And I've been doing it wrong all this time. And they're now doing it properly. The other thing that they learn is, no, this is not for me. So they might decide ingrown toenails is not for them. And that's good because that's a learning thing and they will never get into trouble. Most of these doctors that do these courses, they're already doing procedures in their rooms, but this is giving them confidence that what they're doing is correct or what they haven't been doing, they can now do. Okay, the topics basically are uh, uh, lectures on what instruments we should use, what equipment we should have, and then basically it's suturing of lacerations, excising lumps and bumps, and learning to manage patients who have a problem such as PR bleeding or a chronic venous ulceration. And the PR bleeding is particularly important because that ends up being a medical legal problem if you miss a carcinoma. So these are very, very practical lessons. Obviously, the PR bleeding is not a practical course. It's a theoretical course, but it is very, very important.